Hi guys, thanks for joining me again. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Anne. On my channel, I review foreign international content. If you've been here before, you know what I like to say, right? We travel around the world sitting on our couches. How fun is that, right? Don't get me wrong, we love Hollywood, but foreign shows just give you that opportunity to just get into different other countries and culture and it's just so much fun and today i'm back to review nevertheless from south korea i don't know if you love korean dramas i bet you you've heard about this Woo -wee! fire fire i mean when we watch korean dramas they tend to be kind of tame and family oriented or whatever but Korea is like, okay, we're going to push that envelope because, whoa, the love scenes. <sighs> and what is interesting is usually when we watch a Korean show on Netflix, they usually do two episodes. This show is so hot. They're like, yeah, we're only going to give you one episode a week because there's just so much going on. Like, whoa, wow, wow, wow. So for that reason, I was like, well, in that case, let's review every episode because there is so much there so without further ado uh the cast and really the main characters of this and we all know that the guy um is uh kan song he's you know your teenage girl shows you know love alarm if you saw him on that he was very good i reviewed another one that i thought was very good in um na vilera I think it's called Butterfly, where he was like a, a male uh, ballet dancer. That was so good. That was actually a very mature role for him. But usually I've seen him more in those teenage high school uh, shows where all the young girls uh, go cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs for him. And he is definitely not disappointing in uh, this show. His co-lead is um, So He Hun. Uh, whose name in the show is Nabi Yu. And um, I think this is the first time I'm seeing her. Uh, let me know what else she's been in. But really, so far, obviously we're in episode four, uh, she is an excellent actress. I'm really enjoying uh, watching her. But anyway, for people who don't know what the story is about, obviously it's about this too. Um, it's one of those cases, like I think we've all been there, right? You see someone, they see you, and your eyes catch, and it's that crush, and you are like, oh, I'm in trouble, okay? Girl, the girl was just like, I am in so much trouble, no matter how much I'm trying to stay away. And then he, his character is so good at, he's your ultimate, a little bit like bad boy who is a flirt, and all girl, and he knows all girls are just going crazy for him and it's a little we all know this kind of boys right who is like he's friends with everybody but he would never declare that he's dating anybody right all the girls are crazy about him and i wonder if that's a strategy where as long as i look like i'm single and open all girls will be like Woo! but as soon as i announce i have a girlfriend it's almost like okay everybody backs off so for that reason that's how their relationship is. What is crazy is how fast they get into it. Like they meet, she's like, oh, I don't know. I've heard crazy things about you at school. Like you're a flirt, but you never have girlfriends. And then he is just relentless, right? And she, poor girl, <laughs> there's no way she's gonna say no. And so to me, if you ask me, it seems like it's moving really fast cause boom they end up in bed and woo, I'm just gonna put on here the montage and the directors and the writers, <laughs> you are so wrong. Like the amount of pictures they showed us of them in the love relationship. Oh my word. Let me just put it on here so we can all enjoy him. Huh? Cause that's what they wanted anyway. <laughs> I'm <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Point taken, right? Woo! Um, let's just say <laughs> they get involved way too fast, too hot. So really in episode four, um, she's definitely exploring the fact that are we boyfriend or girlfriend? They don't want their friends knowing. The friends are starting to catch on like these guys are, I think there's something between the two of them. Um, but none of the two of them, none of them wants to declare that we're boyfriend, girlfriend. I love that they introduced the character of uh, Doc Huke. I love him. It sounds like they were friends. He's friends with um, the character Nabi um, from a while back. It sounds like they grew up together. They have not told us um, their whole relationship, but you get that they used to be close. Because when he sees her in the bus, he is just like, is that you? Is that who I'm seeing? And I love that they're introducing him because I get the feeling, obviously it's just episode four. I get the feeling he's going to be competition for Kang Song's character. And I love it because uh, Kang Song is more of like your bad boy, flirts with the girls, and he looks like your good old fashioned uh, good boyfriend who looks like he's loyal, will do anything for you. It's like what they say, this is who you marry. Kang Song's character is the one you stay away. You have your woo fun, and then you're just like, bye bye, because you are going to break my heart. He looks like he's going to protect my heart. But we'll keep watching. We'll see what happens. But that's my prediction. You can tell me what you're thinking down there. But I'm thinking he's the safe guy. The other guy, he's going to break your heart. So here's another reason why I'm saying he's, he's going to break your heart. Um, obviously, in season four, this girl is introduced. And you guys can tell me if I've missed something. Who is she? Is she family? Is she an old girlfriend? Why is she always around him? But what's weird is that he is telling her about Nambi. So I get the feeling like, is she the, his sister? Or is she like an ex-girlfriend who's just like, well, that's who he is. And I'm just going to be in his life. I know he tends to have many girlfriends. Because there's that analogy about, um, oh, you're known to keep your butterflies um, in the cage. And then she's like, don't you want to let your, butterf uh, your butterflies go? And then he goes, I'm not ready. And it makes it sound we're talking about real butterflies. On the other hand, I feel like it's a metaphor for girls that he keeps around that uh, he likes and pursues, but doesn't want to let go. Oh, I have a lot of questions, but we'll keep watching. I'm going to keep an open mind, but I have questions. Who she? Okay. Like, and when once Nambi finds out about her, like, how is she going to respond? Mm. On the other hand, they're not calling each other boyfriend and girlfriend, which to me, it's like backwards. Like you've already done everything else. You just don't want to commit. I don't know. I just, I feel like heartbreak is about to happen. We are about to cry. Anyway, I also love that in the show, they, there are also other characters that we um, are introduced to of these two. Um, so we're told they go to the same class that Nambi goes to. They're all like uh, art students. And we're told he always has had a crush on her. And she's your wild girl who likes to party, drink too much. So one night she's too drunk. Uh, he wants to leave, but then he's like, I can't leave on the street because people will take advantage. And then she's getting all flirty, kisses him. One thing leads to another and they end up in bed. So the next morning, she's just like, oh, no, I like that she called it alcoholic Alzheimer's, meaning I don't know what I just did, right? And dude, bro has fallen in love. And she's just like, so let me get this straight. Just because we slept one time, now all of a sudden you're in love or we should be together. And I was kind of felt sorry for him because he was just like, look, I'll be honest. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. I love straight shooters. He was just like, I like you. To me, what, what we did yesterday was not a mistake. This, here it is, this is what I am. Do whatever you want with it. And then she's over here acting like, oh no, 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 it's just a one night stand. I'm not interested. But I loved as the episode moved on, she looks like she's jealous, isn't she? So isn't it interesting how girls act like, mm, 
mm, I'm not interested, da, da, da. But as soon as she sees him with another girl, she's just like starting to get bothered. So this will be interesting to see. And I hope, this is just me saying, I hope uh, her eyes open and she can see. Because to me, I feel like he's a nice, he's a nice dude. Um, and then the other uh, two characters that I uh, enjoy watching is these two. Uh, we're given the impression they're like best friends, girls who are best friend. But what's interesting is once she has a boyfriend, she has an issue with it. Okay, I get it. I think um, her life is changing. I think she's going to go, um, I think she's going abroad for further education. She doesn't tell her and she finds out from other friends. And then so she's starting to get upset. Like if we're that close, how come I didn't find out? Uh, before everybody else found out. And how is it that now you have a boyfriend or a man in your life and I didn't know? What is interesting about this story is that she is coming off like, are you sure she was just your best friend or do you have a crush on her? I don't know about you, but you guys can tell me down below. Are you getting some vibes that maybe the truth is, maybe she's in love with her and just is now overreacting because, oh, her friend just got a boyfriend. And maybe she's the one who's not true with us and really not being honest about her feelings. So we keep watching to see if that's where this is going. Um, anyway, just, this is a fantastic show. Do yourself a favor and watch it. If you haven't watched it, catch on. Um, it ends with uh, Kang Song's character being confronted by this guy who um, beats him up. We're wondering what's that all about. I get the feeling from, as a viewer, we're getting the feeling that, uh-oh, who else? Maybe his girlfriend fell in love with Kang Song's character and this guy is here to like beat him up. Uh, that's one. Second was Nambi was going to see Kang Song's character because she wants to end it. Um, I don't know if you saw, but there's a section where she hears a, a people talking about him and how he is um, a bad boy and how come she's a good girl and she's hooking up with him. And then her teacher walks in, I think she heard about it and she is like, look, people think there's no consequences to bad behavior when you're young, but there is. She goes, you're in school now, focus, okay? You're about to graduate. You don't want this kind of stuff, you know, following you. Uh, with your resume and with your career. So um, be careful about that. So I thought that was interesting. Anyway, looking forward to episode five. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, please do subscribe. Give me a like if you like the video. Um, and uh, I will see you again when I'm reviewing episode five. I'll be here next week. So join me. Let's see what happens. Deuces.